lots of people get confused about why chokes are there and what they do, but it's quite simple. The choke is there to either narrow the spread of the shot or widen the spread of the shot. So if you're shooting a closer target, you're gonna want a wider spread on the shot. And if you're shooting a further away target, you're gonna want a slightly tighter shot so that it carries that shot pattern further so you get a consistent pattern when at the longer reach of the target. So you've had a quarter choke, that's quite an open choke. And then if you go to a full choke, you get a narrower barrel. So you then in turn get a tighter choke. Most clay shotguns have a variation of chokes. The most common are quarter, half, three quarter and full. And the most common pairing is used are quarter and half. So your average clay ground quarter and half is going to be the two chokes that you're going to use. So typically sporting shooters will, will shoot quarter and half, whereas someone that is shooting skeet would shoot skeet and skeet being a very open choke because the clay targets are very close to them. So trap shooters tend to use uh, full and three quarters or tight chokes to make guarantee that they hit that clay target that is traveling at some speed. By the time that they actually hit the bird, you're probably looking at 35 yards plus when the bird is out because of the speed of the target. Um, when you start to get into things, disciplines like FITASC, because some of the targets are extreme, then you are going to need a tighter choke to get uh, a tighter pattern to hold for longer to hit that uh, clay target that's further out. Some guns have fixed chokes where the chokes are obviously determined by the internal diameter of the barrels. Modern over and under sporter clay guns now have multi-choke. A multi-choke choke is actually a tube that is screwed into the top end of the barrel with varying internal diameters to restrict or open the spread of the shot. So it makes it a good all-round gun. There are aftermarket chokes on the market to buy by various different manufacturers. You get some flush fit chokes which are flush with the end of the barrels or you get extended chokes that stick out from the end. They're not to everyone's taste but it's entirely up to you and obviously there are different manufacturers out there that do different applications. If you wanted to change your multi-choke in the end of your barrels, what you need to do, you need to get your multi-choke key, put the key into the end of the choke and unwind the choke out the end of the barrels. Okay, so once you get it out, you get to there and you can pull that choke tube right the way out, okay? And then what would happen, then you'd then replace it with the choke that you wanted in the barrel You'd pop it back in and you'd wind it all the way back down. Always make sure that they are tight. And there you are, you've changed your multi-choke. So you'll see many clay shooters go, uh, going around their, their local shoot and every stand they get to they will change the chokes according to what they think the, the clay target actually needs. Um, in my opinion, it's one more thing to worry about, one more thing to take your mind away from breaking the actual target. I think if you stick to quarter and half, there isn't really anything that you can't hit on your average sporting shoot with quarter and half, unless, as we discussed before, if you go to fit ass and something like that, that is extreme targets. The way that I look at it is the more juggling around that you have to do when you get to that stand, you are taking your focus off of the actual shoot itself and reading the targets instead of standing there watching where the targets are being shot watching other shooters shoot and see where they kill the target changing chokes in and out every single stand it, it seems quite a quite a lot of faff personally i use quarter and half in my clay shooting gun which for me works absolutely fine for your average clay shoot the only time that i'd ever change my chokes from quarter and half as if I was going to shoot something like fit ask and then move up to slightly tighter chokes just to make sure that we get that more consistent pattern at that range.